Hey guys, have you missed us? We have been on holiday. We went to a lovely place called Bear Bados. It was very warm and it beats the spare room any day. Today's story is all about a bad guy. One of my favourite things is when a bad guys are defeated by good. Disney has proven that. So, let's get started. Make sure you are all paying attention, especially you Kev. Just because you're preaching doesn't mean you get out of it. You may want to take notes. So, let's go. Saul wasn't a very nice guy. He hated the followers of Jesus. They should all be killed. He went to the high priest asking for letters addressed to the synagogues in Damascus to help him arrest all the followers of the way. So in the only place the, the way of followers are going is down. <laughs> As he was on his way to Damascus, a bright light suddenly shone around him and he fell to the ground. Ah, aliens! Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now get up and go to the city and you'll be told what you must do. The men with Saul were speechless because they had heard a voice but no one was there. Saul picked himself up off the ground but opened his eyes and was blind. Help, I can't see. Are you sure it's not dirt in your eye? No, it's not dirt. I'm completely blind. His companions helped him to Damascus where he stayed for three days and didn't eat or drink anything. Saul, have a little water. No, thank you. Now, there was a believer in Damascus called Ananias, and the Lord spoke to him in a vision. Ananias. Yes, Lord? Go to a man called Saul. He is praying to me right now. I have shown him a vision of a man named Ananias laying hands on him so he can see again. But Lord, I have heard many terrible things this man has done to all the believers in Jerusalem. He is authorised by the leading priests to arrest everyone who calls on your name. Isn't it better if, you know, he stays blind and can't see us? It's okay. Saul is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles, to the kings as well as the people of Israel. I will show him how much he has to suffer for my name's sake. Okay, Lord. So, Ananias went. And he, he found Saul and laid hands on him. Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road, has sent me so that you might regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Straight away, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes so he could see. I can see, I can see. I was blinded by the light. This isn't a musical. Saul then got baptised and ate to regain his strength. How good was that story? Not only did good beat the bad guy, it turned him good too. And he became one of the best good guys ever. His name got changed to Paul and he went far and wide telling everyone about Jesus. It's amazing how Jesus can use us for good. No matter who we are or what we have done, Jesus is the ultimate good guy and that's pretty awesome. Well, that's all for today. I'm going to see if anyone's eaten that chocolate. Bye!